Hello everyone, uh, my name is Will and I am a G3 PhD student in the WASE lab. So uh, now we are in the optics room where there are many optical in uh, instruments where we do a lot, uh, a lot of imaging here. So uh, first you see here uh, upon you enter the room is the, called the uh, confocal microscope. Uh, it is basically a combination of a fluorescent microscope and a bright field transmission microscope. And the difference, or we call the advantage of it over uh, other uh, fluorescent microscopes is that uh, it can focus all the light into only one plane. So every time you are only focusing on that plane, and you can get a very clear image of that plane. And by combining uh, many of these uh, Z planes, you can complete a full scan, and then we'll be able to reconstruct the 3D structure of the sample you are imaging. And uh, on top of it is an incubator, where we can control the temperature, the humidity, and even to uh, make the sample immersed in a certain uh, atmosphere. For example, like we put uh, uh, carbon dioxide here or nitrogen here to make it uh, th this system uh, without uh, oxygen. And away from uh, this equipment, we can look at uh, this one. It's a small uh, UV vis uh, spectrometer where you can see the uh, ima emission spectrum of your sample from the uh, infrared, uh, infrared to the ultraviolet. And then let's go to the inner part. So there are many small booths in this room. And uh, this one is a more advanced version of our control microscope. It is, has a different, uh, slightly different working principle that can give you a better scanning speed and a better uh, signal to noise ratio. And this is called a spinning disk uh, control microscope. And uh, you see here, um, uh, we we have we have three cameras, so that in principle we can scan three different uh, uh, colors at the same time. And also here, uh, we build a diffraction setup, so uh, we can do real space imaging using the microscope body and do the uh, diffractive imaging uh, of your samples. And here is just uh, one example of. Thomas, one of our uh, school stocks, is doing uh, particle flow. So, you see, this is a time lapse that uh, you, s you are going to capture all the particles that is flowing through this process. And then he can do the particle image of velocimetry to identify the uh, flow rate and the flow field uh, of this structure. And then, uh, of course, there are many other regions in this uh, room and uh, some of the other experts can introduce you what they are. For example, this is an optical tweezer, and there are some other things for them. Thank you. Thank you.